Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do exercise number one. <clears throat> okay, at this point in the class, you should have already created your infinityfree.net account. Again, make sure that you have the information that you need, the FTP information that you need from infinity.net. That was discussed in a previous video. All right, <clears throat> so now that you have that, and I do want to highlight this red here. Note all coursework must be submitted through your student web page. Do not email me any files. They will not be accepted. You have to use your student web page to submit work for this class. Since this is a web design class, we are using the web. Um, also, I'm not going to read all these bullet points. Um, I'm actually going to do it but make sure at the end that when you finish this, you email me your web address. Again, that can be found at infinityfree.net. I'll just bring that over here. I've already got it logged, open, logged on. Here is the web address. This is mine, you're gonna have your own. All right, so after that, what you're gonna do is come down here and you're gonna copy all this text from the exercises to the end of the projects you can miss the end there. <clears throat> and you're going to go edit, copy. Okay, I'm gonna just move this out of the way. You're gonna open up Dreamweaver, which I've already done. You're gonna create a new file. You're gonna create new document, HTML, none. Okay, we're gonna title this with your first and last name. That's gonna put some information in our title tag and I'll talk about what that means a little bit later. And I am going to create, okay? So that information ended up right here, my first and last name. You're going to make sure that you're in design view. Right now I'm in split view where I see the code, design view, I'm in split code and design. Make sure from this drop down you're in design view. It's much easier to copy and paste from design view and then I'm going to go edit, paste. All right, now I'm going to save this file into my named folder. We've already set up these folders in a previous discussion. I'm going to go file, save. In the finder window, I'm going to find that folder that I, found on my, that I have on my desktop. My desktop, art116, my named folder and I'm going to save it as index.html. INDX, make sure that you keep the HTML extension and I'm going to save it. All right, so you've got that page created. Eventually we're gonna create links to all your exercises, but this is what I need you to do for now. Next, what I'd like you to do, at the top of the Dreamweaver menu, you've got site. You've got two options new site and manage site. Since this is a brand new website we're gonna create, we're gonna do new site. Going forward, all you'll need to do is manage that site that we've already created. So I'm gonna select new site. When this window pops open, you can name, name your site, and I'm gonna call it Art116, okay? And now, this is really important, Dreamweaver needs to know where you're located, your files are located. We need to point Dreamweaver to our named folder, okay? So to do that, you have a folder icon here. I'm gonna click on the folder icon. When I do that, a finder window will open. There it is. I'm gonna to navigate to my desktop, my Art116 folder, my named folder, and I'm going to choose it. Down here, choose. Again, this folder is the one you're choosing, not R116, but your named folder. And I'm going to choose it. Now, Dreamweaver has the path to that folder. It's going to my desktop, R116, and my name folder. Next, what you're gonna do is click on server, and this is where we're gonna put the server information. So I'm gonna click here. When this window opens, I'm going to click on the plus here. Let's so open this window and it wants the server name and we can call it infinity free. 
And you can add Art 116 if you want to, but I'll just leave it infinity free. The connection we're using is FTP, the stands for File Transfer Protocol. The FTP address that we need will be FTP UP Upload dot net. Okay. Next, you're going to put your username. Again, that was the information that you should have gotten from Infinity. I'll come back here just to show you again. Username. So I'll copy that. Edit. Copy. Move that out of the way. I'm going to paste it in here. Edit, paste. Then you're going to grab your password. And I'm going to do this off screen. But I'm going to show my password and copy it. I've copied it and coming back here I'm going to paste it in here edit paste okay and then I'm going to test it just make sure that I typed everything correctly so I'm going to click test Dreamweaver connected to your web server successfully that's awesome we all need to see that and I'll say okay and then I'm going to save and I'll save again Okay, the next thing you're going to do is open up the file panel. Under Window Files is how you can open it. Um, it could be tabbed on the side here for you as well. Don't get that confused with the file command, but rather Window Files. Okay, again, it's probably tabbed on the side here. And I'll show you. I'll actually close mine and I'll reset my space. I like to close all these little windows here. So I'll go workspace and I'll reset. Okay, yours is probably located right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this out from this tab. I actually just don't like all these open. Most of them I'm not going to be using, so I'm closing them. Close it, it's just too many for me. Close, close, and close, okay. Now you got your file panel. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to expand this. So grab the bottom corner and pull it out. So it's much larger. And then I'd like you to split it into two. And to do that, you're gonna click the icon next to the magnifying glass. You're gonna click this icon, okay? This is really helpful because it shows you everything that you have on your desktop in that folder. Here's my index page and there's my images folder. And it also shows me my connection to the server, okay? To connect to the server, and you might not see anything here right now, but to connect to the server, I'm going to click on this little icon next to remote server. It looks like a little plug with a plus. I'm gonna click on it. It's doing its thing right now, it's connecting and it has connected. I can tell it's connected by this yellow check. Now here it says, don't override. Don't worry, need to worry about that. Do not upload files here, but you need to put all your files in this folder. Currently it's empty. Actually, it's not empty. I actually don't need these. We don't want this. You can actually just hit your delete key and get rid of it. And that's just giving you some more information. I'll just leave that for right now. What I'm gonna do is grab my index page and I am gonna drag and drop it on top of this folder. It's asking me, uh, should dependent files be included in transfer? I always say yes to this. Basically what this means is if there's an image on your file, Dreamweaver will take that as well. And I don't have an image, but it doesn't hurt to say yes. And done. Okay, so now we're going to check our um, web page to see that it showed up. So I'm going to go to infinity. Okay, I'm going to copy my web address, which is right here. I'm going to go edit, copy. I'll open up a new tab here. I will paste in here, edit, paste, hit the return key. 
and there's my index page. I highly recommend you bookmark this page because you're gonna be coming back to it a lot. So I'm just gonna go bookmarks, add bookmark. Okay, and I'll just keep it in, I'll add a little bit of name. By the way, this is what ends up when you titled your page. When I asked you to put your first and last name, it ends up being your bookmark. I'll add a little bit, art 116, web address maybe and I'll just say add okay so this is your first published website you are going to copy your web address as well and you're going to email it you're going to open up your college email Let's see uh, I'll do that real quickly here go to your gmail tab Okay, let's delete these guys. I'm gonna create a new email. You're gonna email it to me. And I'll put my first name, last name, and I'll just put website. And you're gonna send me this information. All you need to do is edit Paste. I'm going to be collecting all your web addresses and, and also creating a bookmark for them because this is how I'm going to be checking your homework and you're going to send it to me. Okay? Everybody needs to send me an email with their web address. All right.